Now, on to the students. Remembering the 15-year-old who sh was shot in the hallway of Watson Chapel Junior High School on Monday. Emotions running high today after those students learned that the victim died from his injuries just last night. THV 11's Jay Jackson spoke with some of those kids after they returned to campus and as they grieved their classmate and friend. He was like my best friend. Like me and him, we would get on the phone and talk for hours about anything, everything. Whenever I needed something, he was there, like, he was just, yeah. That's why it hurt me so bad when I found out he passed away. For real, he was so funny, and you know, he just, you know, made everybody's day. You know, he was always having somebody laughing. He was just a good person all around. With police officers on campus, like, students from both the junior high and stuff. the high school held a balloon release in honor of 15-year-old Daylon Burnett. Watson Chapel High Schoolers then held a protest against school officials by refusing to attend class. We had the intention today to just do this for Dalen basically like we didn't want it to be any fussing, any arguing or anything like that. The high school students put together a list of demands, feeling unheard by administrators. The students feeling unsafe. I was teaching some of them what's called box breathing to kind of help lower their anxiety levels so they can pay attention in class. Prompting an assembly in the middle of the school day where media was not allowed. The high school students, uh, I, I think they probably felt like we had not considered their emotional needs. And I wanted them to know that we certainly are concerned about their well-being. But we, we had spent most of our time and efforts concentrating on the junior high because, of course, that is where this incident occurred. That assembly gave students a chance to make their demands, which included also providing mental health professionals for the high school. He's not no bad person, and he didn't deserve what happened, so it's just like, I don't even know how to explain it. Jay Jackson, THV 11 News. Jade, thank you. The suspect in this case, 15-year-old Thomas Quarles, is being charged as an adult with first-degree battery, but he's due in court tomorrow morning where those charges are expected to be upgraded.